Hello everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. I certainly am, because we're playing more Gladius. Fantastic. Right. Straight into it then. Where did we leave things? It's a little bit of a mess with our city, isn't it? We really want this new city. We are at least finally building the loyalty building in our starter city. I mean, population is going to be an issue. I'm going to leave it for now, because I don't really want to go over the limit quicker than we would do. We could spend some influence to get more population growth, but... We're already in a little bit of a mess resource-wise, and I need to dig. We Well, we need to dig ourselves out of it. So let's get this loyalty building done. Hopefully that will coincide. In fact, it will pretty much coincide with us having enough ore to finally get a new uh, city rolling. And then we probably will use... Sorry, here. And then we probably will use our remaining influence. Well, here's the thing. No, no. I said I was going to say to get growth and stuff on the new city. But what I might do is when we finally get our Autark, the other hero that we have access to, I think I'm going to take him over to the trader camp and see if we can buy a nice item. So, with that said, do we need to do anything this turn? We've obviously moved you. I think everybody else, we're just kind of chilling for one more turn to try and get up to full HP. We might even go this way because we did kill off their final unit, didn't we, at the end of last episode. Okay. Let's end turn then, settle myself in for a bit of gate destruction. <laughs> I tell you what, when I do play another campaign as another faction, I will enjoy not having this. Quick end turns, no gate nonsense, just cracking on. Looks like they have got another unit. They've walked right into our Overwatch fire though. Unfortunately, they've walked into where the rangers are and they're not going to do anything. And those grenades do so much frigging damage. They're just pumping out these units and we need to work our way through them. What a pain in the bum. Here in the background. <laughs> oh, okay. Listen, I know. This is the worst thing about playing Eldar. It's the worst thing. There is no no such an annoying mechanic for any other faction. But I really wanted to play Eldar, okay? So here we are. Can hit from here. <laughs> you know what? Just destroy all the gates. Well, we won't we won't have any more cities. Right, this is annoying. I mean I can heal it up soon. But um, it is what it is. I think we'll probably reduce armor there. Out of interest, you have pretty good armor pen, right? No. <laughs> well, increases the damage and armor penetration against infantry. So you do have better armor pen than it says on the weapon. Because it says zero on the weapon, but against infantry. So the question is... And also you do one out of four casualties, 3.4... 8.3. I'm just interested. If we reduce the armor. Let's do plus one. Well, it does make quite a sizable difference now. And now you can probably kill it between the two of you. However. I'd really like you just to replenish. But I can't really do anything. There's nowhere I can. Oh. I mean, I am going to heal you. But that's only going to be four hit points. It's only four hit points. And if I move one of you guys around to finish the job, you're going to get hit by the uh, the fortress. And if I move you out of the spot, then you're not going to replenish this turn because you moved. So it's all very, very sad. But I think being how it is... Oh, actually. Oh, of course. Yeah, are we going to go this way? Uh, mm, I kind of want to go. Th nah, we will. We will. We'll probably go take... No, we will go this way. I've changed my mind. So with that said... Where can you shoot me? Can you shoot me here? You can't, right? Anyway, we, we've got... Um, fire and then move. So therefore, I can just switch you out. Are you full HP? I'm going to bring you closer just so we have it. Make sure we get the XP. I think you probably would have got it there anyway. Good, good, good. Right, okay. With that said then, you fortify. It's really annoying. We can't get on with the game because they keep sending out units. You fortify and heal. And then hopefully with the spell heal as well, I really want to take this out and probably sweep up here. It's just a bit slow going at the moment. And especially since I have fragile units and we're really struggling for resources, I don't want to throw any of my units away. I really don't. We do have a gate there. I was just wondering if we could do any weird teleporting, but not really. That's the other awkward thing, is we can't even teleport our units 
to the front lines to do anything. But never mind. I can't even pick up my drink without being shot at. You've got more Devastators now. That? This is annoying. I think we need to pull back. Not like retreat from the fight, but like I need to come here because this is just really annoying me now. This is obviously a right pain. Let's move you... I'm going to move you right up, aggressively. Now, you don't trigger Overwatch, but we will. So, you've got to bear that in mind. I'm going to move you here. You're going to come here and heal. You might trigger the Overwatch. I don't really... I don't know. Maybe not. I could actually shoot there. However... I think what I might do is put you in there. Let's move the Guardians around the back for now. Now, we're going to get shot next turn. We will have a reduction to range damage. But I want to see how much damage we actually take. We don't have our... Well, we've already used the heal as our action anyway. But one more turn and we can give one extra armor to our unit. But let's see how much damage we take. I don't want to use any ore to produce anything. It's really bad. I could actually afford this now, but it costs 30 ore, and I just can't go there. I just can't go there. We're going to have to be patient. It's not that bad, especially in the forest. We are going to get shot, but they have moved. And again, we're in the forest. So... The problem is, when I go and attack them, I mean, maybe... You can't reach them, which is kind of annoying. It's all very annoying. Let's see how much damage we do to this stupid thing. Probably not a lot, but it's time to find out, I think. If the turn ends, there we go. So you'll notice we don't capture that. Mm, it's it's enough. It's not great. If I move you around the side, you will take damage, but I'm hoping it won't be too much. Now, the problem is we've only got one range on the Guardians, haven't we? So this isn't going to be easy. I think I will move you up there, and I think we need to move you right, and then you can go in that slot. I think I need to move you round. And for you, I assume you can't shoot? No. Honestly, it's annoying, but let's just do this. We still do half the damage. I'm going to leave myself... Although I'm going to have to heal next turn, so no. Let's move at least a bit closer. And I think what I'll do... Well, I can't reach that one, so I'll just armor up this one. And if that one gets shot, well, at least we can come around and heal next turn. Hopefully the Devastators won't come over and shoot this one. We, if, we're, if we're really unlucky and, and we get in a bad situation, the Fortress will shoot this, then they will come and shoot this, and this will die. Um... I'm just kind of hoping that doesn't happen. And hoping is the best we can do at the moment. Well, that's annoying. But not entirely un unexpected. Who's that then? It sounded a little bit like Tyranids. That could be wrong. We do take damage there. What happened to the Devastators? I assume they ran away. It looks like they ran away, which is perfect, to be honest. Absolutely happy with that. Not happy. Oh, no. Oh, it's orcs. But you've just been... Okay, right. First of all, we've unlocked War Shout. That's great for our Banshees. Obviously, morale... We have an immediate minus two morale to adjacent units. That's not really going to make much of a difference against the Fortress. Uh, is there any reason not to use it, though? No, because it doesn't cost... Sorry. Ugh, my throat. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. And it's only got a three-turn cooldown, which in this case is fine. So I guess we might as well use it and just test it. But I don't think it would do anything. Now, over here, we saw some orcs. They were grey. Is there a grey orc player? Or were they neutral, captured by the enslaver that we know is hanging around after they attacked this? There's a question. There is a question. So, next turn we can settle our city. That will plummet our loyalty, but only for one turn, and then this will be finished. 
So I think that's the play. We do it immediately next turn. And then we can try and really get on top of things and get some more units. We need to really sort out resources. This isn't enough ore to really keep us going. This isn't enough food. It's just been a bit of a tough starting situation for us. But anyway, never mind. Let's move into this gap. Obviously, we want to heal before we attack because potentially we'll have more models and do more damage. We're going to heal up. Great. Uh, so we will... Well, let's wash out. Does it affect the... Oh, the morale did go down. I saw it go down on the bar. Nine out of ten. I mean, it's not actually... It's not going to get low enough to matter. We'll do it. We'll do it anyway. And now it's down to seven. But as we've said, it has to be below 66% morale to be shaken. So, uh, unfortunately, and it's not... Unless we reduce morale by hitting them... And we will reduce morale passively by stood next by being sorry stood next to them with two of these units. So maybe. Oh, I should have moved around and then attacked. That was silly because now I can't get these in position to attack. But never mind. Ooh, are we going to get shot by Overwatch from there? We might. Do you know what? I think we we can hold here. I'm going to play it safe. I'll move you around. But I'm not going to go into that space because technically, three range. One, two, three, one, two, three. Technically, that one might be able to shoot me. Now, I don't know if the cliffs and the terrain will intervene and stop that. But it's not worth the risk because if that one shoots me in Overwatch, that will shoot me on its turn. That will shoot me on its turn. And with these weak buggers, we might just die. So I'm, And plus the fact, I think we can do it with these two. We have a bit of healing and armor support from the hero. I think we'll be okay. So we're going to do that. You're just going to sit tight, and any reinforcements that come in, you can snipe them and do a bunch of damage. Uh, you can move, obviously, but I'm not going to do that. Let's just put you on hold position, even though you're obviously not going to do much. Right, research then. We've got War Shout. Should we go for the support battery, or... No, I tell you what. Let's buff our Isha's Gardens. I know we've only got one, but we're really not in a position to A, build the um, Greater Ingress at the moment, and B produce vehicles after that we really need to get our resources in order and probably after this it might be a population building time in fact it will be so that's probably what we'll do but obviously that's going to cost 50 ore so we're going to be struggling <laughs> we're going to be struggling and very soon i'm going to want the technology for more tiles listen i need everything i need absolutely everything but anyway we'll enter and we'll get on with it Hello. Well, that's disappointing. Death Copters. It looks like we are going to lose that get. We might end up with two cities for like the whole game. Now, this is the thing with having so many enemy factions, right? And not that much wildlife. The There's another kind of unexpected, ooh, unexpected side effect of my map choices. There's not a lot of wildlife, A, taking up the map, and therefore they won't attack the neutral gates, and B, stopping the enemy factions from expanding very quickly or very far, which also is letting them get to all these gates and destroy them. Have they actually built a city there? They have. Well, this is going to get really messy, isn't it? Right, well, we definitely need this right now. Um, we don't have enough ore to claim a tile, which is just fantastic, isn't it? In one turn, that loyalty will get sorted out. We can... Actually, we can't buff that. We can buff this loyalty. God, that was loud. What the fuck? That was so loud. Okay, well, we're going to do that. We'll probably also buff growth. Oh, it's a lot of influence. But we might as well, because I want to get pop in here in the new city. What on God's green earth? That is so loud. What even is that? Surely it's an effect. Is it the interface? I don't know, but that was bloody loud. We're turning things down. Holy cow. Sweet baby Jesus, that was loud. All right. So. So, so, so. Armor. Might as well go to you in case you get shot again if we don't finish the job this turn. Ah, I should have given it there, actually. You will get shot by Overwatch if we go there. What pain in the bum? What's your morale? Say you have 10. Now, the problem is, is that they have plus 20% morale regeneration. So I think we're kind of struggling. I am going to play it patient. 
Unless... Oh, that does do a lot of damage, actually. You know what? Never mind. We can destroy it this turn. You're probably going to get shot. Yes. However, we're going to destroy this one. What's well, fair? Do you know what? It doesn't even do that much damage. I'm being a bit of a wimp. I'm being a little bit overcautious. Let's just destroy this crap. And now we should get access to this, which is actually research, which is cool. Perfect. Um, you sit tight. Yeah, I'm not going to move. No, let's just sit tight. Uh, I could move you up. Does it really help me? Not really. We're going to just wait. We're just going to wait. I expect the Devastators will be here somewhere. And now we've got Orcs, like, literally on our doorstep. So we're going to have to create forces going this way as well. It's going to get really messy. Okay. So for the moment, because we don't even have five ore, which is not something I considered, we can't even clear a tile. We've only got two tiles on this space, which is obviously already taken up. Let's have a look around. Two tiles, because we've got some ruins around us, but we do have a few three tiles as well. Um, wireweed will have to clear when the time comes. Uh, man, I can't even claim that. That would be nice to get extra ore and energy, so I'll probably claim that. Maybe straight away, because I, our loyalty is kind of hanging on from our buff. So I might even claim that tile first. Control Z, by the way, if you forget to do that, if you really want to see all the tiles at once. Okay. So, ore is going to be the name of the game. We do have some ore buffs here. Is this... Oh, so we could maybe go ore. But anyway. Hang on, can you... No, I was going to say, you can't clear the ruins, can you? No, why are we... Imperial ruins and forests. Oh, sugar, you can. Right. Well, I could have done... Right, okay, listen. It's now episode three. In episode two, I missed this and talked about it. And now I realize I've missed this in episode three. Potentially, if I remove the Imperial Ruins, would I get another building slot? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm learning. Holy cow, I didn't know that. And if I do remove feature, it won't remove our stuff, right? But it will clear ruins. As a test, maybe I... I grab another... That's wild. We're not going to have enough ore to really do anything in this city anyway. Should we try? Hang on, where am I going to build ore if I can? Oh, it's 10% everywhere. So potentially, if I... If I clear the space there, which I'll do after I finish the loyalty building, am I going to get another building slot? And if so, I really really have been a moron i mean it's not an overly big surprise anyone who knows me won't be particularly surprised to realize that i have fucked this up hmm so i mean it would have saved us a little bit yeah okay you're destroying the gate we know cool buggies though what are you scanning for it would have saved us a bit at the same time, it's not like we've run out of tiles. It's just that we've wasted turns taking extra tiles that potentially we didn't have to have. Potentially. But anyway. I'm not going to heal this unit. I think I'm going to heal this one. That's now gone. This is a tough game, actually. Mostly because of my idiocy, but it's a tough game. We're going to heal you. How much health are you missing? Yeah, six. So we'll heal four. Great. You're going to move... Oh, this is risky. Oh, that's not good. It is what it is. Got a cliff there and wireweed, so we can't really go that way. You can still move. Obviously, you can. Uh, I'm going to put you a bit of risk if I'm not careful. I think for this turn, we better just chill and not go the extra step. Because I really don't want Fortress Fire plus Assault Space Marines hitting this unit. Maybe I'm overextending here. We're going to find out. Right, you can now acquire a tile. I'm going to acquire that. I could actually acquire this as well. 
for extra influence. Uh, if I, in fact, if I have nothing else to do, maybe I should have done that. But let's clear this tile first as a test, and then I'll probably grab that. So that we can get a bit more influence. I don't really want to spend the limited ore we have, because I need to build something <laughs> in this city. Well, I need a loyalty building pretty sharpish, because we're running on this buff at the moment. Uh, we now need seven people, because of what I've done, so we really need to get a population building. I'm talking about ore, but we need pop. Because we can't staff everything. That said, this does give loyalty and research. This gives research and influence. That's probably less needed. So let's unstaff the Shrine of Cain. For now. And they're all coming forward at once. And they brought Assault Space Marines into the Rangers. At least they killed two of them. But this is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So they actually didn't go for my force and went for my rangers. I didn't even consider that option. Fair play to the AI. That's very sweaty. Just have a little look down here while the turn's still going on. Okay. And again, turns are also longer because I've not got the simultaneous turns option enabled, which you would normally have. If you just start the game up and don't change any settings... Everybody will have... Well, apart from you, everybody else will have their turn at the same time. Right, we're getting a bit more food from our garden now. Now I need to pick very carefully what to have. This is going to be really important, isn't it? But, tile raid... Not necessarily yet. Uh, fire dragons would be big, wouldn't they? I'm not sure we can really invest in the vehicles yet. Because we don't have enough ore. So I think fire dragons might be the way to go. So that we can get some better infantry, which will still cost ore, but not as much as vehicles. That's my thinking. Right, we can't quite kill this unit. Uh, I could go down there and kill it. That might be the play. I think it is the play. Because we can move a guardian in here just fine. So we'll do that. Uh, to be fair, had I used my war shout, maybe we could have killed it just with this unit, and then this one would have been free to shoot at them. However, it's fine. It doesn't. It's not a big deal, but it could have made a, a difference. If it had been life or death, I would have been a little bit disappointed. Let's move you in. You do really good damage anyway. I'm kind of disrespecting how much damage you do. I'm not going to bother to use the shout. We do have our armor. Oh, I could have reduced armor of that. I should have done that. There you go. New plays. I think in this case, then... I could hold it, because it'll be on cooldown. But I think what I'll do... Is armor up this unit, because presumably it's going to be shot. I will move it forward. And then we've got the option to go around and shoot this next turn from there if we need to. And I'll move you forward as well. And we're, we're okay. We're okay. You're just going to chill. Everybody's having a good time. So one more turn until we claim that. We also have one more turn to clear this tile and see if we get an extra building slot. If it destroys my buildings, I will laugh. But I don't think it should. If it does, we, we fucking deserved it, didn't we? And by we, I mean I. You, you've done nothing. You've, you've sat here thinking that you're going to get a competent let's play from someone who knows what they're doing in this game. And what you've had is just some kind of blind and rather silly duck wandering around doing really stupid things. They did shoot that. They shot our rangers. Problem is, I can get in there and, and hit it and avoid overwatch fire, but very soon after the building will just pound me. Keep an eye on the orcs, see if they turn up. I mean, I can probably win this fight anyway with my defensive bonus. Can I? I think so. I could make it a sure thing with the Banshees. The problem is, is we just don't know what else is there. God, it would be close to... Actually, with my shout, I'm going to do it. We're going to be brave. So, we can't quite kill them, right? It's very close, but we can't quite. I'm assuming if we war shout, it'll do enough. However, I'm wrong. They don't have low enough morale. I feel like one more point of morale would have done it. 
Well, rip. Oh well, we're here now. Okay. And we can blow this up. I will heal that unit though, because presumably something else is going to come and shoot them. When we go around here to kill it. Don't do it. Thank God. Imagine if that was in in Overwatch range of their city. So don't forget that is their only city. Space Marines only have one. Oh, no, that is one, two, three. Oh, that's four tiles away. I was going to move up, but we'll be three away. I think what I'll do is move you back around here. We do have a skill point, though. We leveled up to level three. So I think what we'll do is level up the heal because that's amazing. It'll go up to eight hit points. That's massive. Let's level up the heal. Oh, I can move you. I will move you this way. Whether we can destroy a city, I'm not really very confident. To be completely honest. Right. You've claimed that. That should have given us a bit more ore. You now need a tile to build on. Oh, well, actually, you could... No valid targets. Uh-oh. No, but you have cleared the ruins. Oh, you can't clear the tile until you claim it. I was like, wait a minute, I can't clear the ruins. Does it not clear the ruins? It does. I just haven't... Um, I have to claim it first. Interesting that we get a production boost in these two for whatever we build. What are we going to build? We need a loyalty building first. Don't really care about production boost for that. What am I doing? In fact, loyalty could probably go... Oh, that has a production. Probably here. This is one of the worst tiles. Let's let's go here and get a loyalty building there. Right. Over here, we're kind of okay. I'm not gonna... Well, we need, we need the, the ghost halls, don't we? I'm claiming the influence. What was I gonna build here? Or, yeah... However, I would like I mean I could just clear Is there any reason that I wouldn't build the ore thing? Wait no, I'm building ore there because we've got more space. What was I gonna build here? Nobody knows, but I'll tell you what, that can very easily be the greater ingress after all. Well population building, you dumbass. Right, I need a population building, but I can actually build that. We've got a slot here. Population building there, ingress there. I have a brain. It's just not in use. So I would love to produce some more units. Getting the hero rolling would be great. We do have an okay ore income, but at the moment, we're being, we can't even build the buildings we need, and we're going to need to build a building here and a building there. So I'm going to hold off. Obviously, we're getting a bit more food from having this now. We still have this, which is giving us power, and we still have that, which is giving us ore and power. So that's very, very nice. Let's see what happens here. These Banshees may take a ton of damage. I assume this has three range. You've moved away. Are you going to fire? No. Are we okay? Can that... Maybe that can't see us because of the, the forest. There is a forest. Which actually works out beautifully for us. Because this city cannot see us through the forest. Wow, that's very good news. What do I do? I'm a bit concerned about our... The, the, like, the fortress, nothing like a city. A city is far more difficult to destroy. Potentially what we do is we go after this. We're going to move you forward. I'm probably not going to use the armor thing. Because you don't get hit by over... Well, we may as well, actually. It's only got a two-turn cooldown. And I'm going to move up. Probably all the way over here. And begin working on this. We won't get hit by Overwatch, obviously. Uh, which is another reason to just run you that way. I don't want to run you that way, though. Are you going to get hit by Overwatch? You actually are, if I do that. You'll be safe there. And you come back that way. Okay, and we're good to end turn. One more turn there, one more turn there. 
We're going to clear out the resources. I don't really know what we're going to do about this at the moment. <laughs> Until I get something better. Well, you don't even kill a single model with the armor. Whoa, what am I going to do? <laughs> I really need that support battery, which isn't happening at the moment. I'm getting fire dragons. I mean, whoops. With an over... All right, mate. With an overwhelming force, we can destroy the city, but it'd be a real grind. And I'm a bit worried about how much damage the cannons will do to our infantry. There's them. I'm not going to use the shout. It doesn't really seem worth against these. Uh, let's do... I think I'm going to heal this unit. I should have healed before we attack. Oh, it's not. I don't know. Actually, no, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it because it's an eight heal and that's a bit overkill at the moment. So I'm not going to do anything there. With you, I would love... Unless I heal this unit. Do you know what? I think that's the play. Got to keep this unit safe, but we can pick that unit off, which is quite important. There we go. Get a bit of experience. They both leveled up, which is kind of big. And we'll heal this unit. Because I assume it's going to get targeted. Right. You keep moving. Uh, you're chilling. You've already attacked. I mean, you can go in there. I guess we might as well. Righty-ho. Right, let's get a loyalty building. Which is all of our ore, and that probably prevents us from doing what we need to do. It does. So what we might as well do is just spend five ore, which is okay. Because we'll still have enough next turn to get the ghost halls. Yes, we will. Just. So let's... Sorry, no. Let's... In fact, no, let's not spend ore. My bad. Let's clear a tile again. Let's clear some more ruins. Now that we've realized I'm the dumbest person alive. We'll clear the ruins there. Although that's going to take two turns. So, never mind. I need to get this rolling next turn immediately. No. Everything takes two turns. We'll wait a turn. Oh, my goodness. I I really, like, fucked up by not... Well, that said, there's not that much around us, but I really needed to get ore rolling. Potentially before... I Maybe I built tr too many troops too quickly, which seems ridiculous because we don't have a lot. But, m but by me building them early and building the rangers early... Instead of and building that crucible early, instead of getting resource buildings, it's really hamstrung us and slowed us down. I feel fire dragons that's going to be brilliant. Six damage now, there's only four of them, and they only have one attack, but each one does six damage. They have eight armor pen, they have the melter tray, increase the armor penetration at half range. Which seems makes literally no fucking sense, actually, because we have range one. Maybe that means that if you're in... No, it doesn't make any sense. What does that mean? I assume I assume we just always have that armor pen, which is why we have eight armor pen. Um, we can get upgrades, we can see here. Obviously, it has the normal stuff, but we can get crack shot later from the tech. Increased accuracy in armor pen. And we can get extra armor, which is apl applicable to all of our all of our infantry. So anyway, the point is, they're very fucking good. The bad news is, I can't heal you. But what I can do is actually not give you armor. I'm going to reduce armor here, because I'm assuming we can just kill this. And to be fair, oh, you used your energy to... Uh, your, sorry, your turn to reduce the armor, so you can't attack. However... We are going to destroy this. I think. You don't have that much health to get. I think I'm going to leave you here. And set you up. You can kill this. Oh, you can't. You're so bad against buildings. Well, that's shit. You'll have to do it then. Okay. Bit more influence. So, you are just going to chill. 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 
yeah, I'm chill. Choose research. Because we have the fire dragons, of course. We could get the tiles. I think we'll probably get the support battery ready. Could have got the grenades. They would have been good, actually. I wonder if they're good against buildings. But only we only have two guardians, though. Avatar okay, no. Let, let's get the let's get the support battery. Because honestly, that's gonna make such a difference when we eventually get there. Let's get pop for now. We're gonna put it there, that's fine. Jesus the ore. This is all my fault. Once we get loyalty rolling there, I'll probably make this a bit of a, a resource hub. Well, that's mm, you see, that's kind of a stupid statement. Because we do have extra production on these two tiles. So it's kind of negligent to not put unit production on these two tiles. But we can get some ore here or something first. And maybe, maybe that or that is where I'm going to slap down my vehicle production. And maybe I'm going to build multiple to stack the production. And then actually, if we get rolling, even with these two cities, if we manage to get rolling, we can just churn out vehicles and stuff. And that'll be big. Trust me. I know I sound like a crazy person who has got all these theories which are not panning out, but trust me. We can do this. We have the tech well we don't have we'll get we'll get the technology. I believe. You have not just done that. Are you fucking sick? can they they can do that? They can do that which my eyes has just witnessed. Has. Have. Just witnessed. I have two eyes. <laughs> I can't believe that. So. Oh, look. Got a little Eldar symbol on that one. That's a city. Craftworld Eldari city. So we were right. But So, okay. So even if I, can, if I control an outpost, they can still drop a fucking fortress next to it and take it off me and have a fresh fortress. Needless to say, I'm upset. Um, I mean, it does cost them quite a lot of influence, but I'm kind of upset. Either way, you're going to shoot there. That puts me a little bit under pressure to heal that one instead of this one. I am just going to... Do we have our armor ability? No, I'm going to heal this one. That one will just have to survive a turn. And I can't really go over there and hit it, because then we'll be in range of the city. So we're going to sit tight here. We'll use the rangers to shoot at that one. In fact, I could... I think I can get away with this. Maybe I'm wrong, because maybe now that they're in the forest, the city can see me, and we might just lose this unit. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to find out, that's for sure. We're going to find out. Okay, and we're all just sitting tight. Right, we're building the population building. We are building a loyalty building. Nothing else is happening. Uh, we could get... Why is our loyalty... It's still that low? Like, I need another one? I guess I do. That's three turns left. I might pop the loyalty just to tick our resources up slightly. And we have plenty of influence that we're not even spending. It just gives like 0.1 to everything, basically. Which isn't thrilling. <laughs> but it adds up, alright? It adds up. So, even with that building, I still need... Bearing in mind, we've just got plus two from me doing that. I still need another loyalty building as soon as I get like one or two more population. That's pretty shite. However... Well, no, but I'm not going to build another Crucible now. Crucible gives one loyalty. I think I'll just have to build another loyalty building. How many times will I say loyalty on this turn? No one knows. Well, that gives six. I mean, to be fair, we've only got three pop here. So that'll take it to five. Yeah, and then once that starts... Getting more population. That's going to be rather shit, isn't it? Don't forget, I've still got the Shrine of Cain turned off, though. That's fine. Doesn't the, but the Shrine of Cain generates loyalty. Probably only when... Oh, no, it doesn't. The Crucible does. I'm being dumb. Ignore me. 
Just ignore me. That's fine. We need more pop. I can't believe they've dropped that there. I really can't. The only saving grace, and I'm going to jinx it, is that the orcs have not come in and started attacking this city yet. That's right. I'm jinxing it. I mean, they've built that city there. They're going to be pumping out units. They're not going to be as shitly managed as I... We could lose the game. I'm just going to say it now. On episode three, we could lose the frigging game. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It could happen. Before we think about losing, though, let's just destroy this stupid thing. And I should have lowered the armor and I forgot, but let's do it now. Hopefully we can still kill it this turn. I'm pretty confident. Goodness sake. Right, well that's giving us XP at least. I'm just going to put you there. You here. And we're just going to chill. While we figure out what the hell we're going to do now. They do have another resource there. But I really need to attack the city. But I can't. <laughs> but I can't. Need some vehicles, man. Okay, we've unlocked the support battery. We can't use it yet. Obviously. And in fact, our cities are jammed up with really... They've got really bad. In a lot of ways, getting another Chantry would make quite a big difference. To be able to churn out buildings. But we are limited by resources anyway, so I need to kind of chill out. That's going to be important if I am going to start churning out vehicles. Increasing armor pen of assault weapons. The Guardians have assault weapons. We know that. Look, assault classification. These won't be. These actually are the pistols. Okay. Follow up. Follow up. Fire dragons are assault as well. Right. That's going to be quite good. Let's get let's get better armor penetration for all of that then I think. I'm going to want I'm going to want a lot of things. But let's get the the better armor penetration for now. Okay, our camera has decided to show us that green own an outpost next to a gate. Just to frighten me. Maybe it's an intimidation tactic. Okay. Right. I need to get healed. And I can heal. It might as well be you. You can just sit tight. Now, the problem I've got is I think the city's going to kick our ass. But shall we, shall we test the waters? I mean, it's not that high level of city yet, I suppose, but let's see. I'm going to kill that unit while we dodge Overwatch. Oh, that's going to shoot me next turn, though. It's within three tiles. But I need to kill that unit. I probably should have moved my units up first. I know. That was stupid. But life goes on. I didn't mean to click that. Right. Oh, you do, like, nothing. Oh, you're rangers. Oh, shit. I thought you were guardians. I wasn't thinking. Oh, no wonder we do nothing. Oh, what a noob. Okay, well. Let's see how much... We're going to move up, and we'll see how much damage we take from everything. You could be in trouble. Because I think that can hit you. We're going to find out. City's still rumbling on. Two more turns. Whoops, a daisy. One more turn. It's hard to see that. It's small. Okay. What the hell is that noise? It sounds like a computer fan. It must be the, the city. Right, we take a bit of damage there. It's not too bad, actually, but that is going to hurt. Oh, my God. See what I mean? I don't think we can do this. Oh. Well. Well, well, well. We're not the only faction attacking the dear old Space Marines. 
Well, 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 well. Well, well, well. Well. Okay. First of all, this was really fucking stupid. Second, well, you've obviously got to leave. Probably should have put you in, in a thing. I'm really dumb. I want to see how much damage you do. A non-zero amount is what I would call that. I didn't reduce the armor first because I have no brain. Before I did any of this. So now I've just... Oh, no, no, we didn't do that one. But I basically wasted potential. Maybe I should have just given one of my units armor instead if that's what I was going to do. So I don't think we're going to be able to do this. You can't shoot from there. I guess I moved you too far. Um, and you are just chilling. Okay. We have a loyalty building. Hooray. Do we go straight into the vehicles? Maybe, because I need it. I need it big style. And we do now have a little bit of a stock. Let's take this slot, because that's where I want to build it. One turn. Nice. Nice. Only one turn. Not like this stupid noob who takes like two turns to do things, I assume. Yeah, two turns. Okay, fine. Let's see who gets blown away here. Hopefully nobody die. That unit could die. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when you think about it, these units have more armor than that. I really don't care about that gate, I'm going to be honest with you. This unit could die. Why does it sound... Their city sounds like a PC. Like, up close. It's horrible. Jesus, okay, it's dead. Right, here we go. No, we get away with it, actually. That's not too bad. I mean, it's bad. <laughs> However, don't we have heal this turn? I think we have heal this turn, which will actually keep us going. And also, I apologize for talking for this whole turn, which means I won't have edited it out. Ooh, stuff, stuff is slithering. So um, you'll have sat through this with me, but there you go. But yeah, I just wanted to point out that noise. It's not like my microphone, it's in the game. Just saying. Just saying. Right. Also, oh, also I haven't really mentioned, but when you level up to, well, I guess it's level four, they get a, uh, a custom name, which is pretty cool automatically. You can rename. You can click it and rename units whenever you want, I think. Yeah, you can rename yourself, but, um, yeah. Pretty cool. So, we do have heal, which means and I am going to move you here. Oh, you only have 7 HP. Oh, you're going to die. I'm going to lose my hero. I've moved you out of the forest. I'm going to move you into the forest to do some absolutely pitiful you can't attack from there. Okay, never mind. No pitiful damage. One, two, three. I'm not... I can't really risk moving that in. It's going to... That's going to shoot it. You're literally going to have to sit there. As ridiculous as it is. And be ready to come in as a support unit. You need to go there and heal up. Right, what's the plan, chums? Another loyalty building was the plan, sadly. I think we'll do that. You can get working on a greater ingress, and then finally, we can maybe get some vehicles. How do we feel about getting um, infantry now? I really would like the fire dragons. Maybe I think we can afford to do it next turn. And maybe even the Autark as well. Because our oh, income isn't bad now. 21, that's not bad. Bear in mind, I've just queued up two buildings. They will be building for literally six turns each. So we have like 120 ore is going to come in in that time for us to spend. Although saying that, if I want to build more buildings afterwards, that's not technically true. But still, it's a good amount. for Compared to what we've been working with, we can definitely get a few units. Thank God that gate's dead so we can stop looking at it. We, oh, well, this is the problem when they get extra units out to support. And in fact, that damage helps, but 
No, you should be able to attack straight away. You can. That is very close. Can I even get you far enough away? Yeah, I can. This is the problem. As soon as they have support units as well as the city firepower, we're not going to be able to keep up, I don't think. We're going to focus the unit and try to just tank the damage as best we can until heal comes off cooldown. You obviously have to leave. And this is the problem. Like We're not going to get you back in quick enough and then the city's going to heal up while we're gone. That's why it's shit. <laughs> uh... I think we kind of have to reduce the armor. How can you not shoot there? Go here and make yourself useful. I guess the, the, the wall's in the way? I don't know. It's a lower elevation. That's not a kill, so we're going to have to commit. Oh, I can't believe that's not a kill. I knew you've used your action. That's so shit that that's not a kill. No, morale's not low enough. That was a waste of time. Oh, man, that's so shit. I could have fired and then moved. I could have fired and then moved, couldn't I? There's the mistake. There's the mistake that makes all the difference. I could have fired with that one unit and then moved. And that probably would have died. That's what happens. Those are the mistakes. Those are the mistakes. Okay, well, it's done now. It is what it is. Um, and at least there's only one left, and he can't do a ton of damage. Um, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> do need to wrap up the episode soon, but let's just go another turn. Oh, cool. We got the increased armor pen, which would have been really helpful last turn as well. He has chosen to run away. And he's hit our unit for half the damage. What we could do, one, two, three, is move over here and finish that unit. And not waste time with anyone else. But the rangers really crap against the city. And we can heal this unit and keep him in the fight. Although, I'd rather heal... No, I wouldn't. Mm? No, I wouldn't. No, 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 no. Let's... You're just chill. I mean, I should have moved you into a outpost. I'm going to put you over there. I don't know why I'm so zoomed in. Sorry. What I'm going to do... Yeah. I'm going to shoot you. Which is fine. We'll get a bit of experience again. Level 4 isn't bad for these three. And then level 3 on the hero. Who also gets XP, I might add. And then we're going to heal you. Imagine, if we didn't have the heal hero, we w this wouldn't even be vaguely possible. But because we do, it's quite a big difference. I'm going to now move you around here so that you can actually attack the city without being shot by that fortress. And, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can grind this down. Maybe. Because we do do pretty good damage. But you can understand how it's... Excuse me. It's very awkward with infantry to actually achieve this. How do I feel about my rangers? If they spawn units, they're going to go the other way. So I think I'm going to go over here. Because I think their units will come out here. And I don't want to move and fire with my rangers is what I'm thinking. Um, you can sit tight. You obviously are going to stay there now. And yet we're actually getting there. There's, there's almost half HP. <laughs> almost. Almost half HP we're down to. We're grinding. And then eventually, these might get healed up and come back in. But the problem is, I'm now on a two-turn cooldown to heal. So another unit is going to get removed from the action. And we're probably not going to come back quick enough. See, it's um, it's tough. I don't know whether we'll be able to do it. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. In terms of research... Well, first of all... We can now take this one off. Oh, also... No, we still only have six populations. So we've got to leave that off. I could get the Autark instead. In fact, oh, do I want to get that instead of the Fire Warriors? Oh, I can afford both. I'm going to do it. What have we got a lot of? 
let's turn off the research. Which sucks, and it's going to slow down our research, but I think that's the thing to turn off for now, because I really want to get the Autark out and some Fire Dragons. And we still need to be working this. Don't want to lose loyalty. Don't want to lose popu- Ah, I could lose population for three turns, actually. Oh, but we don't grow at all if I don't have it staffed with a space. So actually, no, that's crap. I will just turn off the um, the research because I don't want to turn off the food, obviously. We'll just slow down research so that we can get a hero and some units out. I think that's the play. Four turns until we get that built and then we can start getting that artillery battery out. Artillery battery, I think, has three range. Obviously, much better against armor and stuff. That's going to be really helpful. We probably want to research some more buildings. Avatar of Cain is obviously a hero. Now that we've unlocked this level, we can actually get a wave serpent, but that's a transport. Let's give him a transport unit that can sacrifice armor to finish off targets. It's still got a gun on it, obviously. We could get warlocks, psychic infantry unit that can teleport around the battlefield and cleanse their foes. Increase the armor of infantry would actually be really big since we are very heavily an infantry army right now. So maybe I'll grab that. The tile radius isn't as important just yet. I would like to get extraction efficiency. We did get... Oh, we don't... Oh, I want that, don't I? I need Vol Summons. Let's grab that. It's only two turns. Increase the production output for our vehicle building when it's built. I think that is the play. And then maybe we get Crack Shot to make our Fire Dragons even more effective. And probably the armor as well. Fire Prism would be amazing. A fire tank, essentially. That would be very, very nice. You'll notice, by the way, you can do whatever build you like in this game. What we could have done, think back. Imagine we didn't get rangers. Imagine we just went for the Greater Ingress straight away. Imagine we had good ore supplies around our city. Good modifiers, good base um, resources, good outposts that boosted ore. Imagine we went Greater Ingress immediately. We rushed out a bunch of those units that I can't even remember the name of. What are they called? Let's go to buildings. Shining Spears. Maybe you get a bunch of jet bikes out and go with them instead of Guardians. You get the support battery soon, then you get the Wave Serpent, you get the Fire Prison, and you just and then you have War Walkers, and you just have mostly a kind of mechanized army. And that's really the same with all factions, not just between or oh, infantry or mechanized. But you, with a lot of factions, you do have options for what you actually go for and how you build. And if you were playing better and, and tighter and had a better plan of what you were going to do, you would do a more specific build going for techs that you really need to get units out quickly, to get resources up quickly. And you would plan based around what you have Look at your tiles, look at the features nearby, what outposts have you got, and you would plan around it and do a really tight build. But obviously, when you're just dicking around and you're just playing against medium AI, who are still kind of kicking my ass at times, you don't really need to. But there's a lot of difficulty settings. Obviously, we can go really high in difficulty and just get murdered if you want. You can go high enough that you have to play pretty well and build pretty nicely to win, and so on. There's a lot of adjustability. But anyway, I will shut up. We need to get out of here, unfortunately. Next episode should be a good one. We're going to get Fire Dragons. We're going to get an Autark hero. And we're going to get some vehicles rolling out as well from our Greater Ingress, including the artillery battery that I've been talking about since the start of the game. And if we're lucky, we can finish off the Space Marines, which will be nice. Now, whoever that faction is, I'm just going to run away and leave them and probably go after the Orcs because they are very close. There's a city right there. And I would really like that Relic as well. That's going to give us a faction-wide bonus that I probably should have secured earlier in the game. That was rather silly of me to not do that. Anyway, that's going to do us. So, as always, everybody, thank you very, very much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next episode.